Week of Trinity 16, Tuesday. Where is Jesus going? And the people stood afar off, but Moses drew near the thick darkness where God was. Exodus 20, verse 21. Dear Redeemed, in Exodus 20, Moses was going where the people could not come. He was going up to the mountain to behold the Son of God, who had called him, and to hear his word. Moses would ascend to the holy place. The people remained below. They would question, debate, and await his return. Many would fall into the doctrines and practices of unbelief. Some remained faithful and awaited the second advent of Moses. Then Jesus said to them, I am with you a little longer, and then I go to him who sent me. You will seek me and not find me, and where I am you are not able to come. This Jesus spoke to the crowds, a mass of people that included officers of the temple who had been given the orders and the authority to arrest him. It would not be long now. Jesus would be with them only a little while longer. He was going to return to God the Father who had sent him. The Son of God's return would be by the way of Mount Calvary and the cross at the place of the skull. There, Jesus would bear the sins of the world and be the atoning sacrifice for all. He would enter the Holy of Holies and endure the wrath of God. The Son of God would die in order to defeat death by rising from the dead. The body of the Savior would reside during a three-day weekend in a stone-cold tomb in a garden. There would be a victory visit to hell, where Jesus would proclaim the defeat of the devil, death, and sin. The Christ would rise from the dead on Easter morning, and, forty days later, would ascend into heaven, to be with the one who had sent him. Jesus would be enthroned in all majesty, honor, glory, power, might, blessing, and holiness. Alleluia! And where I am, you are not able to come. Then the Jews said among themselves, where does he intend to go that we shall not find him? Does he intend to go into the diaspora among the Greeks and to teach the Greeks? What is this saying that he said, You will seek me and not find me, and where I am you cannot come? John 7 verses 33 through 36. The people do not understand what Jesus is saying. They imagine that he is going on a preaching tour among the nations where the children of God had been scattered the Diaspora. But where could Jesus go that they could not come? Surely it is heaven. This was their day of gracious visitation, and they were rejecting the Messiah, the Redeemer Savior. Jesus had come with the message of mercy, peace, grace, hope, forgiveness, life, joy, holiness, faith, righteousness, and salvation. They were rejecting God's Messiah and the way to heaven. Thus, unbelieving people are not able to be where Jesus is going. Some hear this call to repent of their unbelief and trust Jesus. We are amazed at who these people are. Who are they? Stay tuned. Prayer O Lord God Almighty, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, grant me faith in you and steadfast trust throughout my life that I may be among those who say, to him who sits upon the throne and to the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and might for ever and ever. Amen. Hymn number 222, stanzas 2 and 5. Jesus lives to him the throne, high o'er heaven and earth is given. I shall go where he is gone, live and reign with him in heaven. God is pledged, weak doubtings hence, this shall be my confidence. Jesus lives, henceforth is death, but the gate of life immortal. This shall calm my trembling breath when I pass its gloomy portal. Faith shall cry, as fails each sense, Jesus is my confidence. <laughs> 